the big picture is like, yeah, there, there's so much pontification about, I think, what would work, where what I've encouraged people to do and like worked with them personally on is to, I don't know, I have a fancy name for it, but it's called like low friction content, which is like, don't do it. Don't do any screen capping. Don't do any, any fancy transitions. You know, my, all my stuff started on just me pointing my phone at my screen and my monitors playing in the room. That's, that was all my content was, was just that. And you know what, when shit claps through the phone, they're already, they already like you. Like they don't need, I think the big revolution I've felt is like people aren't making the decision based off of like all the nuances of your website. They're not putting on headphones and like doing this. Like, uh, okay, a podcast, <laughs> uh, closing their eyes and holding the headphones close to their ears to like make the decision. They're like, oh man, right. this shit, this shit slaps. Damn. Oh yeah. That's that, that sounds great. And then boom, personal brands already been developed. Sounds fat. This stanky. He, he looks <laughs> like a fun guy and uh, he's friendly uh, th- in one post. Like that's all you need to do. So I'm big into low friction content, which is yeah, literally been me doing a selfie vi- video with the speakers behind. I'm a goober. So I dance around a little bit. You don't have to do that. Um, I've worked with guys where it's just them maybe playing the part on the keyboard. And then the part that people fuck up the most, which is probably the hardest to be honest, because nobody's a copywriter who's an audio engineer, is storytelling. And it's by far been the most important thing that I've developed over time. 